What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. So some of you might be in a situation, whether it's you know personal, business, whatever, where you need to create a PDF file and you need to send that to whoever you need to send it to, medical, legal, whatever. And remember, this video is intended for entertainment purposes only. What I'm trying to say is that I'm no expert. This is not legal advice or anything else. I'm just basically showing you what my experience is. If you gain some knowledge from that, great. Uh, so anyways, let's say you need to create a PDF file from a picture, right? For whatever reason you need to you know, do that, you need to send that to somebody. Here's basically the process is go into Google Drive. And, and let's say you're doing this from your cell phone, because if you're on a computer, hopefully you have a printer scanner or something like that. But if you're doing this with your cell phone and you happen to have Google Drive, what you would do is you would basically open up the Google Drive app down below in the corner, right, there's a thing that says new, and it looks like a little oval with a plus sign. So you press that button new. And then what happens is, is you get an option where you can select scan, right? So click the new and then click scan. And what will happen is, is a pop up will automatically appear with like moving lines. So as so this, for instance, would look kind of like this. Like as you're trying to hold your phone steady and try to hold your phone as steady as you possibly can. And what will happen is, is you'll get a box around whatever it is that it thinks what you're selecting is what you're selecting. And down on the bottom, there's a little auto and then there's a manual. So if you if you're just if the system isn't just quite getting it right, you can switch over to the manual and you can do it yourself and drag the lines and that kind of thing. But if you're in auto mode, it's usually pretty good about, you know, selecting what you want to take a take a photo of to then be converted into a PDF. So once once the system does that or once your cell phone does that, you know, tips or tricks, try to hold your phone like as steady as you possibly can like this, you know, try to hold it with two hands, turn the light on, right? Like, let me show you what that looks like. Turn the light on if you can, you'll just get a better scan that way, you know, that kind of vibe. And then once it does its thing, it'll ask you to save it, right? And then what you can do is you can save it to your Google Drive or you can save it to your phone. You, there's different options that you can select of however you want to do it, right? So then after you've saved it, now you need to send it out, right? You could text it, you can email it, you could do whatever. And the way you do that is there's a, there's a little option there where it says send file, or copy or a copy file like basically there's something to the effect of like send the file and when you click on that button what will happen is is you'll get an option of like do you want to text it do you want to email it do you want to blah 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 whatever and you can you can go ahead and do that quick note on the saving part right saving to google drive saving to whatever It'll ask you, like there's a whole bunch of different options that you can select. So based on your specific situation, you can go in there and select whatever you need to select. So then after you've done that, obviously, just to recap, when you send the file, there's a little drop down menu that'll say, you know, send the file or something similar. Like the terminology might be different in your specific situation. But once you get there, then all you have to do is just uh, click the send. Your email, your email, whatever you use will automatically come up. And then you can, in your email, you can select like which email address you want to send it from if you have multiple accounts or whatever. And then you just type in the two address, like who it needs to go to. The, the attachment should be attached down at the bottom. And what you can do is re, you can reopen the attachment down at the bottom of the email. Let's say you're emailing it just to make sure that everything went through correctly and that you checked everything out and whatever. Remember, however the document appears in front of you is how the PDF is going to be created. So if there's information that you wanted to block, like let's say you wanted to block this out, you'll either need to get like a piece of tape or something or a piece of paper and just block out whatever you don't want to be in there. Or what you'd have to do is you'd have to download it, go into some like an app where you can, you know, make modifications, alter it, do whatever, and then, you know, redo it all over again. But if you have a hard document, or a piece of paper or something, a photo, a picture, whatever that somebody says, Hey, I, I need a, like a resume, right? Professional work situation. You have a resume and somebody's telling you, Hey, I need a PDF of this. Just lay it down on a flat surface. Make sure you have good lighting, you know, turn that light on if you have to, or if you don't have to or whatever, usually putting the light on helps, you know, try to square up to the image as best you can, right? Turn your light on if it needs it. Maybe do one with the light, one without the light. You get the idea. 
go into your Google Drive, hit that add button, then hit the scan button, and boom, you're good to go. And then the rest is the rest. Anyways, hope this video out there helps someone. I'm the old coot asking you all to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below, and I will catch you all in the next exciting video. By the way, there are some cool links to some cool stuff down there below in the description if you want to go ahead and check those out. And I'll see you soon.